welcome to this tutorial on Artnet faders. Artnet faders allows you to um, link Resolume faders, so something controlled by MIDI or OSC or whatsoever, to a direct Artnet output. That way we're able to send signals to the lighting console or uh, control fixtures uh, with different DMX profiles just in a way that we're not hacking any parameters to certain kind of output or whatsoever. So the effect or the plugin itself is a source. We head over to sources, artnet faders, just drag it in and put it there as you can see. And the first thing you'll notice is nothing is changing. Um, that has to do with the way it's been set up now um, and the way we're going to set it up. B because this is not a plugin you want to use on your default composition as, and especially not on something like an output. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of space to our composition just for the Artnet data. Um, that space or that that piece of output is not going to be shown, uh, but we'll use it so that in our advanced output we can map that to a lighting console or something. So we'll take our 9020 and 1080 and we'll add 100 to that, um, which will give us 100 pixels of space used for data. You'll see that our content is now centered, and if we go to advanced output, um, we see that we still have a main screen. Let's start with a new one. So this is your default. It's going to cover the whole screen. But the thing is, let's call this main output. Output. Um, and that's something we want to stick to 90, 20, 1080 instead of 1180. So let's make it 1080. There you go. And let's change that here as well. And now we're going to move that to the upper ceiling. In our output transform, we don't have to do anything because it just sticks to 90, 20, 1080. There, we're gonna move it there. So this is just 90, 20, 1080. It's gonna be like that. And then to move this there, we're gonna add this slice, slice output. So now that you see, we have a we have added an extra bar underneath it and. Um, if we go to our advanced output, we'll see that we're just outputting 9020, uh, uh, 90, 20, 1080 as we should. So this piece of extra pixels we're going to use to create a Lumiverse. And this Lumiverse um, is going to dictate or, or is dictated by the amount of data we're sending out. So let's create a Lumiverse. Let's stick it down here. Let's see if we did a good job. I think so. Let's change the amount of things we want to do. So let's say we're where we want to output 25 parameters. So we have parameter one to 25. Uh, we can also uh, describe how the layout's going to be, but just the default one is fine. The only thing you have to notice, and that is really important, is that the gamma correction should be one. Because if it isn't, then, I mean, Resolume by default is correcting your output so that it lo looks better on the screen or that, you know, um, pixels are set to, um, the intensity of pixels correlate with the perception of your eye. Um, and we don't want to have any change in that. Make sure that you set the color format to luminance instead of RGB or something, because otherwise you'll get RGB pixels. So we set this to L and we have 25 by one, a width of 25 and a height of one. Okay, let's close it, let's save it. Now we go into Artnet faders and the thing we can do here 
is drag that Lumiverse onto our output, just like it would be a slice for a screen. <clears throat> now what you will find is that the data that we're outputting is sent to the bottom of the screen. Let's first match up the profile we have. So um, let's set this to maximum. We had a width of 25 and a height of 1. That's what we set up in the advanced output. Uh, let's check that again. I had over here 25 1. So now what you will see is um, let's use this. If we are changing any of the values of the channels, you'll see that they match up perfectly with uh, the Lumiverse. That means that every parameter here is controlling a separate ArcNet universe from zero to one. So now you actually have your mapping. So the cool thing is that if you decide to connect with the LD, he is able to ArcNet in uh, your data and you can give him custom triggers on these sliders and they will be just one-on-one -on -one inputted on his desk. Um, then we have some extra options. It's called use alpha. Um, I'll turn this, this off by default because then you get a more proper um, value. But in case you want to overwrite or underwrite, you want to have like extra data underneath it, you can use the alpha. So the width and the height dictate uh, actually the grid. The same as in your advanced output, and it should match up as long as you're using the same slice to um, match your, let's see, uh, to match your output on. So now we have two rows, 25 width, so we have 50 parameters. Let's save and close. And here we can say two. And this way we have indeed 50 different parameters. Um, say for instance that you have uh, four fixtures all with the same profile in a row mapped on DMX. In that case, you want to repeat your output. So uh, let's say you have five and every um, pro every device has five parameters then let's make it five and now you see that we repeat those five parameters five times so that makes up for uh, ten times so that makes up for the 25 times two and another thing we can do is we can set a limit so say we have four fixtures with five parameters uh, we're able to say that we want to limit in 20 or uh, say we have uh, nine fixtures with five parameters we want to limit at 54 and then you'll see that the last one is black which allows you to make sure that you don't get any gibberish out in the ArcNet network and the great thing about this is that it will just use your uh, built-in uh, Resolum output. So now we're sending it. So um, that's it for uh, ArcNet faders. You can use up to uh, 512 uh, parameters. Um, so you can go all the way and uh, if you set the limit to 512 then um, let me set this to the limit. You get 512 parameters you're able to map any profile any fixture whatsoever and just uh, fully control it in resolute all right that's it for now thanks for watching and uh, have a great day